Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's M here with um, kind of a different video today. It's not an LP, and it's also not a speed build. It's actually gonna be a house tour. This is my first house that I've built in The Sims 4, so go easy on me in the comments. I had a lot of fun making it, and um, I don't do house, like, um, speed build videos just because um, they're kind of uncomfortable for me. I like to take my time when I build houses, and I change my mind a lot a lot so I feel like making a speed build video um, it would either have to be sped up really fast or I would have to sit there and edit it for a long time and cut out a lot of parts I don't know it's just not something that I feel comfortable doing <laughs> maybe in the future when I get more decisive in my building skills you know what I mean but for right now I think I think oh my god sorry about that um I think giving you guys a house tour will do just fine. So as you can see right now, we're looking at the front of this house. It is so beautiful. I kind of just want to walk you through and tell you some things that I did, some techniques maybe that you can use in your own house builds, etc. So first of all, um, lining a walkway with rocks is a nice way to finish it off. And um, so that's tip number one for you guys. And then also, don't forget to use your terrain paints as they come very handy. I added like some flowers in my train paints and I also put dirt around the house to just make it look more realistic. Added a tree and yeah. <laughs> you can see the rest. Um, my favorite feature of this house is the way the roof extends and there's kind of like an awning here. That's kind of like how my house is honestly. That um, Well my parents house that I'm living in. Um, so I guess you could say that's where I got that idea from. And then right here, there's a bench and there's also a planter bowl where you can have your Sims buy seeds and start a growing a plant. And um, over here, oh my God, over here is a place where you can sit out in the patio and drink you some sweet tea. <laughs> Only Southern people will get that, but yeah. So I decided to add a little nook over there. And then behind these pillars that you can't actually see, oh my God, this, Jeez, jeez. Okay, behind these pillars that you can't actually see, there's um, plants just accenting the front door right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go around and here's the side of the house. I lined the side of the house with bushes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Lots of windows. I like a lot of light coming into my houses. And here's the backyard. Um, just nothing. I really didn't do a lot in the backyard. Um, I could have landscaped more. I could have tried harder, but I didn't. Um, this is just how it came out. Okay, so I added some planter boxes in case your sim wants to start gardening. If not, just delete them, bros and brodettes. <laughs> I think I just made up a word just now. And um, this is a family friendly house, so I did add um, a jungle gym for your kiddos to play on. And I sneakily had it. Had it. What? Hided. No, that's still not right. Hid. <laughs> I hid a trash can over here in the corner because trash cans are just ugly and unsightly, but you still have one. And then I don't know what this is. It's just a decoration object. I really don't know what that is. Bushes. Um, I put a table right here because look at this view. There's like a river right beside their house and a beautiful little like bridge. I mean, come on. Seriously? Who wouldn't want to live on this lot? And there's the park right behind their house. Like... Seriously, great location, great. And there's a grill, of course, in case you want to grill out and have those parties. Um, right here, I tried something cool. I was struggling with what to do to the back so it didn't look so plain. And I wanted kind of a balcony. Um, so I added this thing. And as you can see right here, like, the wall. You can walk behind the wall and basically have a little space out on the balcony. And as you'll see inside, there's windows all across this wall right here, so you have a nice view out to the park and the backyard, and it's just a nice little thing I did. <laughs> um, you will see that there is a family in this house. I just got them from the gallery for, you know, display purposes and to make sure the house works correctly. Um, I believe they're called the Marlowe family, so if this is your family and you're watching, which I highly doubt you are, not many people know who I am, <laughs> but thank you for your family. <laughs> okay. So, without further ado, let's go in the house. Um, so when you walk in right here, you just walk in and there's like a little wooden part. Um, and there's a table where you can throw your keys or whatever. 
and a coat rack right here. And then over here I put a chair and um, some shoes so you can sit down and put your shoes on or take them off when you come in. And there's a rug right there. And then over in this corner there's just a simple couch and because I didn't know what to put in this space, I was just trying to fill it up. And um, this, this little like end table and this picture frame which I did scale up. See how the shadows are weird? Yeah, sorry about that. I am um, kind of a glitch from scaling up objects, but whatever. I like the paintings scaled up. And then if you come over here, these are the stairs that go to the upstairs. It's kind of like a tight corner. They're kind of tucked in right there. And here's the big floor mirror. I am invisible. Cannot see me. I am a ghost. But there's a floor mirror right here so you can check yourself before you walk out the door. I actually used to have a friend that had a giant mirror like this. Um, in their entryway and I really liked it and I put this plant right here so on into the kitchen I posted a picture on Twitter of the kitchen like before but I decided to change the theme of this house it was originally gonna be like older and lots of dark woods inside but then I decided to make it a little bit modern because I feel like the outside looks pretty modern ish like contemporary I don't really know what the correct word design term is for that so I changed the inside and we're completely new so this is it this is a cool tip that you can do um, the sim supply has a tutorial on this but you can actually your counters um, you can click on them and when you click on the color palette right here um, automatic counter placement is off for me you can turn it on and that's where you place the counters and they automatically connect and make corners and stuff like that but if you turn it off you can actually grab each individual piece and build counter shapes as you like so that's how I did this I grabbed individual pieces and made a custom island and the kind of new trend nowadays I watch HGTV a lot guys like I watch it a lot which is really embarrassing to admit is to have your stove in the middle island so I did that and then there's a sink over here and plates and such I feel like this um, kitchen has a really good layout yes um, because everything's spread out it has good feng shui uh, the sink is never supposed to be across <laughs> from this stove for feng shui if you guys didn't know that um, not that I'm like a feng shui expert it's just basically that I watch a lot of HGTV um, up here I do want to point out okay I do have a smoke detector but up here I do want to point out that I put a shelf above this cabinet because I want I would like to be able to set stuff on top of cabinets in my own home I have plants hanging down from cabinets so, I think, but you can't, unfortunately. So I put a shelf here and set some stuff, but I couldn't get anything to go up there besides these items. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I added this little piggy thing. This piggy chef is so cute. And a coffee pot over here in this little other section. And then, uh, they do not have a dining room or a dining room table. That could be something that you add if you want to swap out this office for a dining room, if that's something that's important to you. But I didn't think it was that important um perhaps i don't know it's just more family like i don't see them throwing any big great parties or anything like this isn't this house wouldn't it's not really made for throwing parties or whatever it's just for a family to live in um i mean that's something that i could do better in my next build is add a dining room or at least more dining areas and um, the living room isn't even downstairs it is upstairs and it's more of a little game room so this house is different it's different um oh yeah I scaled up this painting and put this um, beautiful butterfly one right there so these double doors which are so cute by the way lead way into the office where my two sims are actually I can't even need to put the walls down this room is too small so this is the office I went with orange and navy blue, which strangely, that was my high school's colors, so nostalgia. Um, I put a stack of books, some pencils, and a Mac looking computer, I don't even know what this is, but she, oh look, she's surfing Sim Google. Um, and this chick's name is Kayla Marlowe, and this is her husband, I think, Justin, Justin Marlowe, and they're just sitting in here, she's doing some work, or something like that, and he's uh, accompanying her while reading his book. I added this cork board which is really cool. You guys can um, get a pen pal in game and post their notes here somehow. It's something that I have not tried out yet. Um, put this plum bob there. And I think that's pretty much all. You know, just some paintings and such. 
So that's all for the downs. Oh, nope, just kidding, just kidding. So in here is actually, it's another bedroom and it's a quite big bedroom. I actually think it's the biggest in the house. And the reason for that being is because I also included a treadmill in here. Um, I feel like, I don't know if this is normal for you guys, but in a lot of houses people have guest rooms which kind of turn into guest room slash workout slash extra storage. So that's what I made this room into. I just, I don't know. I, it's just kind of what happened. So it's a guest bedroom. There's a bed in here and a nightstand and stuff like that. But this also is where they put their treadmill and, you know, where the kids or the kid dumps her sports equipment and her books in here just to like, I don't know. Just It's just kind of like a catch-all room. But of course, when you get this house, you can make it into another bedroom. You can have your grandparents live in here or just someone else. I don't know. Do what your heart desires. Okay, so this is the bathroom in here. Pretty self-explanatory. Got some wacky colors going on here, but I like it quite well. And that leads to the kitchen and it connects all through. So that is the downstairs. So let's look at the upstairs. You come upstairs and this is the like hallway I'm excited about. I really love this. You come up the stairs right here and you got all these windows lining this hallway with a chair and tables at the end and then on the other end of the hallway oh my gosh ah, you just got like a simple bookshelf but this hallway leads to two bedrooms um this is the master bedroom over here mm -hmm. lots of browns uh here's a laundry basket yep self-explanatory yep 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 there's the bedroom and then over here is their bathroom the master bathroom Okay, so that's one end, and then over here is where you have the little girl's room. I don't know, oh, she's on the couch over here. This is Jasmine Marlowe. She obviously likes purple. You go, girl, I love purple too. This is her room. Uh, super girly, you know, just got some random stuff on the wall, just random, random purple everywhere. I love this bear and some toys and these curtains are to die for and I really like how this bathroom turned out that's her bathroom which also connects this one is just an ensuite for this bedroom but this one connects out here to the game room so guests can use it as well but this is kind of like the game room just TV and chairs and there's a card table so that's a fun. okay so that is the house I hope you guys like it and if you do you're more than welcome to download it and use it in your own game, use it in any way. Um, just don't try to say you built it. You know, you know the drill. So um, find me on the gallery by either searching up my name, which it's not my Sims Addiction. It's actually Magical Unicorn on the gallery. So you can look me up that way and download my stuff and follow me to see my future creations. Or you can also look up, I named this house like family luxury or just something weird like that so if you would like to look it up that way you're more than welcome to as well so i hope you guys like the house please let me know any tips or suggestions down below um but don't be like harsh on me like i'm not trying to say i'm really good at building i'm just i'm just decent i'm still learning and i hope that you all have an amazing day and i'll talk to you in my next video bye guys